Yo, what's up? Bringing you that I'm gonna be the show 19. So we have four more legends that got revealed in the SDS stream. So the first one is AJ Burnett, and they actually showed off his card art a little bit and actually his stats for that card. So they have a breakout series for him, an 83 overall with 98 stamina, 87 hit per nine, 86 K per nine. So those are all right numbers right there. It has a fastball, knuckle curve, sinker, and changeup. But Burnett, right-handed thrower, played 17 years, seven with the Marlins, three with the Pirates, three with the Yankees, three with the Blue Jays, and one with the Phillies. Only has one all-star appearance, and that's actually his last year of his career. I'm kind of wondering if it was a pity all-star <laughs> vote. I don't, I don't remember, to be honest. But we can see right here the breakout version that he has. I really don't know what else they can do for him. They probably will give him an impact veteran card. But since he has no hardware series cards or any all-star series cards, I feel like he's going to be kind of limited with the cards that he can get. He could have a postseason card because they, he, or he did win a World Series ring in 2009. Not that the ring has any weight to like what kind of postseason card you can get. But looking at his stats during that postseason, like he wasn't really that good. His ERA was pretty high during that 2009 run. So it'll be interesting to see what other cards they can do for him. But moving on to the next legend, we have Brett Boone. He played 14 years, 7 with the Mariners, 5 with the Reds, 1 with the Twins, 1 with the Braves, and 1 with the Padres. So he's actually going to be a World Series reward. And I'm going to go over the World Series rewards and get go into a little bit more detail on them in another video. But they have him as a 2001 all-star series card and that's a 90 overall diamond and that 2001 year was probably one of the best i don't even know if you can call it like one of the best teams because that's when he was on the mariners they didn't even win it that year but they won 116 games that year that's when each arrow made his debut to the major leagues and had a crazy good season and that that team was amazing you know they won 116 games they just couldn't finish it off i believe the yankees beat him in the playoffs that year but for that 2001 card for brad boone he had 206 hits 37 doubles three triples 37 home runs 141 rbis so he put up some nice numbers so i'm assuming this card this 90 overall card is not going to be bad and he played second base so that could be a second baseman with some good power numbers especially to start off the year so i actually think this could be a solid card the next legend we have which is also going to be a World Series award, is Don Mattingly from the Yankees. So he played all 14 years there. An outfielder also played first base, but the card they show for his ranked season rewards is that 1985 MVP season. So that's going to be his best card in the game unless he gets a signature series card, which I don't know how they're going to dish those out this year. But for that 1985 season, he had 211 hits, 48 doubles, Three triples, 35 home runs, 145 RBIs, had a 324 batting average. So a really nice season right there. And like I said, he won the MVP. He also was a six-time All-Star. So he has potential to get some other cards. We might see him get a breakout series card for 1984. He had a solid season there before he ended up winning the MVP in 85. Probably can expect an impact veteran card. From him because later in his career he still put up some solid numbers so that's what i would expect for don mattingly but the 94 to start off the year is definitely a really nice looking card and then the last legend reveal we got is hal newhauser from the tigers so he played 17 years 15 with the tigers two with the indians and they actually showed off his card so Real quick before we just talk about this card, he was a two-time MVP. So it says he was a seven-time All-Star, but the stats only show he was a six-time. So either a six-time or a seven-time All-Star. But the stats from this card, 91 overall diamond, 118 stamina, 85 hit per nine, 101 K per nine, and a 58 walk per nine has a 97 fastball, a 81 sweeping curve, a changeup, and a two-seam fastball. So the pitches for this card look okay. It's going to really depend how effective curveballs and changeups are this year. They were pretty effective in 17. Actually, I should say it's going to really determine 
how effective the fastball is going to be this year because that's definitely going to be a big thing right there. And with a 97 fastball, if the fastballs are effective, this could be a really nice card. But he's a left-handed pitcher. This is his best season, and he actually won the Triple Crown this year in 1945. So just like putting that into perspective, I'm actually surprised this is a 91 overall card. But in that season, he was 25-9, and nine, had a 1.81 ERA, 40 games played, 29 complete games, 8 shutouts, pitched 313 innings, and had 212 strikeouts. Hit per 9 was a 6.9, home run with per 9 with a .1, 3.2 walk per 9. So you kind of see that with the control numbers being kind of low. And then a 6.1 strikeout per 9. So... Actually, I feel like a point one home run per nine, unless they, they don't have these stats accurate, he should be higher than an 85 for his stats right there. And home run per nine, or actually, no, I was looking at the wrong thing. It's a 93. So yeah, that, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. I was looking at hit per nine. So yeah, but that's definitely going to be a really important stat, that home run per nine. Two-time MVP for Newhouser. I don't know if they're going to give him two different hardware series cards, but definitely can expect an all-star series card from him. It may be a rookie series card an impact veteran card you know they always can do a breakout series card actually they might be able to do like a 1944 is a breakout series card the year before or his his first mvp i should say his first mvp maybe they give that a breakout series card if they decide to switch it up and then he also was in the postseason for one year 1945 so another 1945 card they could potentially do and he was two and one in that series but he had a 6.1 era so his era was pretty high that year so i don't know there's definitely possibilities right there but those right there are the four new legends that got revealed aj burnett brett boone don mattingly and hell newhauser but let me know what you guys think about these four new legends that are going to be in mlb the show 19 i like the variety they're kind of different you know, I don't feel like they're the big powerhouse names. I don't I don't really feel like they're the big names, but I think these cards can still be really effective. And pitching is definitely going to be a big question mark because Newhauser definitely has the potential to be a really good pitcher depending on how pitching is in this game. And then I feel like Don Mattingly is also going to be a really good card. But let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys for watching, and I'm out.